I'm Charlie and this is the second in my series of video guides to biological recording techniques. Now today we're going to teach you how to make and use a piece of equipment called a spy pot. And with me to help is Richard Berkmar, who's project officer for the FSC's Tomorrow's Biodiversity Project. Now Rich, um, what is a spy pot and what is it used for? Well, a spy pot is a little device for looking at uh, invertebrates in the field without damaging them. And I first came across one when I bought a spider book um, called The Collins Field Guide to Spiders, and they showed you how to make one out of plastic cups, which I did, but they were very cumbersome in the field and got crushed and very hard to control. So I've come up with a new design, uh, which in this case uses the bottom half of a, a toothpaste a dispenser. So this is a spider I've already captured, and I've put in another pot, but quite often I'll catch them straight into the spy pot. Oh, that's the wrong end, don't do that. In it goes, so it's now standing on the clean film. And that's quite safe in there, there's no way it can escape. Um, but I can restrict its movement just by pushing up the, the plunger with my fingers. I can restrict it as much as I like. So it's running about in there now, it's got a little bit of room to move about, but I can get right up close to it with my lens and see details of it that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise and if I want to see something really closely and make sure it's not moving I just press it a little bit harder into the cling film and now it can't move at all and I can look at things like the hairs on the legs or the palps or the epigyne of a spider and even with a higher magnification like this I can get right in close and see some of the detail that normally you'd only see under a microscope and as soon as I release the pressure on that spider it's fine and completely unharmed and it can uh, be released to fight another day. You can make a spy pot yourself quite cheaply and easily. All you'll need is the bottom part of a rigid toothpaste dispenser or any other parallel sided rigid tube. Foam sheeting like that used for pipe lagging, packaging or camping mattresses. Double sided sticky foam pads. Flat shoelaces. Sellotape cling film and glue. You'll also need access to some tools. White spirit, cloth, paper and pen, a hacksaw and a piece of plywood, fine sandpaper, a sharp craft knife and some scissors. The first step is to remove the label from the toothpaste tube. Use white spirit to clean up any glue left on the barrel. Cut the tube to size. Around 6 cm long is fine. To get a level cut, wrap a strip of paper around the tube as a guide. Carefully saw the tube to the correct size. Use fine sandpaper to smooth the cut end. A rough end will quickly damage the cling film. Draw around the inside of the spy pot barrel to create two circles on the foam sheet. Use a sharp craft knife to cut the circles of expanded foam. Cut close to the outside of the pen circle to make the plunger fit snugly inside the spy pot barrel without it being too tight to move freely. Cut two small slits in one of the foam circles, not too close together, and thread a length of flat shoelace through as shown. Cut off and tie. You use the shoelace to withdraw the plunger from the spy pot barrel. You can use glue to help seal off the ends of the shoelace. Place two double-sided sticky foam pads onto the foam circle as shown. Cut any protruding bits off. Place the second foam circle over the first, securing in place with the sticky foam pads. Roughly winding some sellotape round it first can help prevent the cling film from sliding on the barrel. Now it's time to add the cling film. 
Tear off and fold a strip of cling film, about as wide as the spy pot barrel is high, and wrap tightly around the outside of the barrel to give a surface onto which the rest of the cling film can grip. Take a second piece of cling film and stretch it over the open end of the spy pot barrel, twisting it around the cling film which is already wrapped around the barrel. And there you have it, a finished spy pot. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guide to making and using a spy pot. You can also find a PDF of these instructions on our website www.tombio.uk